So, hello the Pioneer viewers, we continue to share important developments and special news about the Russia-Ukraine war with you. As you know, the war, which has been going on for more than two years, has had very important turning points. At this point, while the parties continue their mutual conflicts, international initiatives are looking for a way to end the war. However, the developments and Russia's aggressive policy approach signal that the war will grow even more. Scenarios such as the war affecting Europe or the war between NATO and Russia are being discussed. So, Russia's position in the Ukraine shows that it wants to spread the war to large areas and the Russian army, which is stuck on the front line, is having great difficulties in holding on to the region it occupied. There are also reactions from the soldiers due to the difficulties in the Russian army. It has become very difficult for the Moscow administration to solve both political and military problems, and the problems that were hidden until the Russian elections are now coming to the light, and the Kremlin administration is having a hard time. Russia's invasion attempt against Ukraine resulted in a big surprise, and the Ukrainian territory, which Russia aimed to seize in a short time, has become a symbol of resistance against the occupation for the great devotion. The Ukrainian army is strengthened by the support of European countries and the United States made significant gains against the Russian occupation. European countries have also increased their security spending due to the ongoing war. Security concerns began to emerge against Russia's aggressive policy and on the other hand, Tensions between NATO and Russia continue. The Ukrainian official who made the statements in the past days made a shocking sentence. According to the Ukrainian official, the war is not over and is not beginning. The Russian army was shaken by the news of rebellion. In the images published on social media the other day, it was revealed that a battalion of the Russian army rebelled. Russian soldiers who did not accept the task assigned to them made it clear that they rebelled with the video they published. Now, if you're ready, let's examine the Ukrainian officials' statements and the uh, mutinous Russian soldiers together. As the pioneer, we continue to report on Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. I also read all of your comments on our videos, so please continue to share your ideas about our content in the comments with us. Let's just start if you're ready, the pioneer reports. The statements made by the Ukrainian officials in the past days attracted great attention. The points mentioned in the statement gave important clues about the future of the ongoing war in Ukraine. He said that Kyiv needs more military assistance to prevent Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine from escalating into a major war between Russia and the West. Kyiv has warned that the delays in Western aid could give Putin a battlefield advantage. Ukrainian leader Zelensky said in a recent interview that U.S. support means Ukraine has no air defense, Patriot missiles or intercepts for election warfare, which means Kiev forces will have to retreat step by step. Ukraine does not want the end and wants to defend its country by fighting back, he said. Zelensky predicted war, saying that if Ukraine falls, Putin will divide the world, and the Ukrainian interior advisor Anton Grushchenko shared the Zelensky's interview on his social media account and wrote his statements. He stated that the Great War seems to be just in the beginning. Grushchenko said that the war would not be limited to Ukrainian territory, and it has been widely speculated in recent days that Western countries would enter the war and Russia would have to fight on the several fronts. And predictions about the future of the war have been focusing on the same possibility in recent days. The leaders of NATO countries like Poland and Denmark believe that Putin will attack the alliances in the next three to five years. However, amid concerns that uh, Putin's ambitions will extend beyond Ukraine, NATO has issued in a statement. Lieutenant Admiral Rob Bayer, chairman of the NATO's military committee, said the other day the alliances needs to prepare the future escalation, but does not see a direct threat. There are many comments and predictions about the ongoing war. Analysis by the military experts confirms that Russia wants to expand the war to the wider areas, and when Russia fails to achieve this desired success in Ukraine, it tried to manage the process with political moves. 
The secret war between European leaders and Putin is now coming to the light. Another interesting development took place recently. A unit of the Russian army showed its reaction by raising the flag of rebellion. The details of the rebellion were quite surprising, and you may remember from previous news that such reactions are often experienced in the Russian army. The lack of discipline in the Russian army causes soldiers not to fulfill their duties. And the Russian army has difficulties in maintaining discipline because most of the soldiers are recruited from the outside sources. And for this reason, some missions go wrong and losses due to the personal mistakes are very costly. The soldiers' mutiny took place in the Avdivka region, and the Russian army is trying to make progress in a small village west of the Avdivka. It is known that the Russian army suffered high losses in the clashes in the region. 98 regiment were sent to a meat attack in Semenyivka in the Donetsk Oblast. What happened after the attack was a disaster. Most of the Russian troops were destroyed by artillery and machine gun fire, and the Russian units suffered a major blow in the Ukrainian army's counterattacks. The remaining soldiers were ordered to attack early Yivka due to the lack of support and high casualties. But the soldiers refused to carry out the order. In the video, they shared the soldiers described what happened and in complaint about the Russian military leadership. They state that they were threatened by the Russian authorities for voicing their complaints and not following the order. So it's observed that the Russian soldiers are in a physical and psychological collapse. As I've already mentioned in the previous reports, the Russian army seems to be at a disadvantage against the Ukrainian army in this aspect, so such as military personnel, special capacity, operational skills and motivation. The soldiers of the Ukrainian army state that they are ready to make any sacrifice to defend their country. Both political developments and military developments will show themselves frequently in the coming period. The important point is analyzing and predict them all. What do you think about the mutiny of Russian soldiers or whoever? What do you think is the reason for the lack of soldiers in the Russian army and how do you interpret the statements? of the Ukrainian officials. Do you think there is a possibility of war between NATO and Russia? Let me know about your comments because you know that I read and I care a lot about all of your comments.